Hi, I'm Erin, the Behavior Coordinator at the Denver Animal Shelter, and today we're going to talk about Calm Kennel Behavior, or Click for Calm. What we need for this exercise is a clicker and some delicious treats for the dogs. We want to use something that's a little higher value, such as the Zooks, string cheese, or even the hot dogs. What we're going to do is walk through the dog kennels and click and treat for any calm kennel behavior. We define calm kennel behavior as not jumping and not barking. Any other behavior is legal. We want to make sure that we always follow the click with a treat. So never click and don't give a treat afterwards. If the dog is jumping or barking, we have a couple different options. We can say too bad and move on to the next dog. Over time, the dog will learn that too bad means he lost his opportunity at a reinforcer. We only wanna use this option if we plan to come back and give that dog more opportunities to earn reward for calm kennel behavior. We can also pause and wait in front of his kennel and wait him out. Once he offers a couple seconds of calm kennel behavior, we can click and treat. If he's persistently jumping and barking and is not offering us any calm kennel behavior, we can use a food lure to lure him to have all four feet on the floor and to be quiet. We can then do some rapid fire clicking and treating so that he learns the best way to earn a reinforcer is to have all four feet on the floor and to be quiet. For long-term residents, high energy dogs, or dogs who we frequently see jumping and barking, we can spend several minutes in front of their kennel just clicking and treating calm kennel behavior. We don't always have to move on to the next dog immediately. So let's see it in action. Thank you. 